Hello, welcome to another pop player tutorial. On this one, we will focus on how you can play HDR content on your normal HDR TV monitor or real HDR TV or monitor with correct color. Before we proceed, please make sure your hardware acceleration is being set up and uh, the sound playback is being uh, corrected, it's not normalized or else the sound will be awful. I've addressed these two issues in my previous tutorial. If you never follow it, please go back and watch. So let me give you a summary for our great pop player and pop player is sucks on default settings. You see, it can't even compete with the Windows built-in movie and TV player. So the built-in player have hardware acceleration enabled by default. It play music and the sound correctly and play HDR movie correctly on both SDR monitor and HDR monitor. The downside, it cannot support subtitles and uh, no MKV support since I watching anime, so it's a big no-no for me. So on the pop player side, on default, you see there's so many red parts. It cannot use uh, hardware acceleration. It plays sound very awful and uh, have wrong color when play HDR. But uh, if you follow my previous tutorial you already fixed the hardware acceleration and the sound issue now we are going to fix the HDR issue first HDR video on HDR display so you at least need to run Windows 10 and you need a HDR monitor or display for my settings you see the number 2 display is HDR and number 1 is non-HDR if it's non HDR, you will not see the HDR switch. After you connect or select the HDR monitor or display, the HDR switch will be appeared and please turn it on. After turn on use HDR on your monitor, then you can proceed to pop player settings. Open your pop player and choose preferences and choose the video sector for the video render you must choose built-in direct 3d 11 video render or else it won't display correctly on other setting on this page you can leave it all as recommended value on this use hardware hdr output mode you can just tick it to force on hdr mode if you click this thing again it will become a square this means auto mode it means uh, when your uh, hdr monitor is connected it use hdr output mode if it's normal one connected it use sdr output mode next select pixel shader tab make sure you enable these pixel shaders the most important one is this one 20a4 and you can also enable the ICC color gamut correction and the 20A6. So this is all the setting for you to play HDR video on a HDR monitor. Even without HDR monitor, the R2 mode of hardware output will ensure correct, uh, correct color display on a HDR monitor. And another one I want to bring up is this 10-bit color output. Uh, what does this mean? You see my current connection to my monitor is 8-bit connection. So if you have a fancy monitor which support 10-bit or 12-bit colors, that means you can take that 10-bit output, then your color may have better shade. Even I don't have this fancy monitor which support 10-bit output, but I will still show you if you have a fancy monitor support uh, 10-bit or 12-bit uh, color bit dips then how you can increase the bit dips on your HDMI or uh, DP uh, connection I'm using an Intel GPU so I 
open the Intel uh, config tool so I select the second one and I scroll down and you see the color dips if I connect a fancy monitor it will show other options it might show 10 bit or 12 bit after you change to 10 bit you close the app and then reconnect your HDMI or DP cable then your connection should uh, become 10 bit or 12 bit but uh, you really need a very uh, high uh, HDMI port or DP port then here will be 10 bit after you confirm your HDMI or DP connection is 10 bit so you tick here 10 bit output then you can enjoy your fancy monitor and lastly, uh, sometimes HDR mode is fail to engage. Uh, if you find something is wrong, you can manually click this HDR button to force enable it. Another trick is a very basic trick. If you want to enjoy your video or movie in the full screen, don't use the full screen button. Press Alter and Enter to enter real full screen mode. Okay, thanks for watching. Please like this video if it's helped you. Thank you.